Hello friends, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know, here I kind of chat about knitting, my art, and well, whatever else I feel like talking about. Today is going to be the first in a series of showing off my knits and my wardrobe and how I style them. I kind of plan on focusing in on just a couple of pieces each time I do one of these wear my knitwear type videos. I'm not exactly sure the title. I'm sure there'll be a title, bing, <laughs> that you would have seen when you clicked on the video. But I plan on focusing on just a couple of pieces and styling them in different ways for a couple of different reasons. One, so I can see the versatility of certain pieces and different outfits I can wear with them. Because a couple of these things that I'm showing you today, I had just like a couple of outfits. But then as I was going through Pinterest and my wardrobe, I was like, actually, I have quite a few outfits I can wear these with. So that's kind of the idea. And then I can be more intentional going forward with new things I knit and really expanding like how I style my pieces. Plus, I figured it could be maybe helpful to some of you and styling your knitwear you know, get some ideas and figure out how to style your pieces that may be similar to the ones that I have. These are the two pieces that I'm going to be styling today. The first one is my champagne basket cardigan. I followed the champagne cardigan by Petite Knits Math. However, it is not that pattern. I massively, massively uh, modified this pattern. Like I said, I just used the mat, but it is an all over texture. This is a basket weave type of stick. And then I also did a double knit cuffs on them, a double knit like faux seam and hem. I knit this out of gifted yarn from We Are Knitters. It is their Merry Wool or Merry Fine Wool. It is the 100% DK Merino base. So yeah, it's really nice and cozy. I wear this all the time, but I kind of was looking for some new ways to style it. So this is one of the pieces I'm going to be styling today. The second sweater I'm going to be styling is my classic sweater, which is by Espostri Co. It's a free pattern. And this is knit out of, I'm pretty sure this yarn was gifted by Hobie. I can't really remember now. I'm pretty sure it was gifted, but this is their Davina base. It's an alpaca wool polyamide blend, I'm pretty sure, and it's like the sage color. I really love this sweater. It is probably one of my most worn, but I always wear it the same way every single time. But it's just a basic raglan with twisted or half twisted rib details. Now, going forward, I'm gonna switch to a voiceover just because I, I'm wearing a microphone and that's kind of a lot to try and switch it on outfits. And then if I'm moving back and then I'm moving forward, there's gonna be mic rustling, which that will not be pleasant for anybody to listen to. So I'm gonna switch to a voiceover and kind of put on the outfits, show them off here, and then chat about them the other way. So let's go ahead and get into all the outfits. All right, outfit number one, I have my champagne basket cardigan that I have styled with some straight-legged black jeans and just a scoop neck black t-shirt. And I have my favorite white tennis shoes. They're just cheap ones off of Amazon. And yeah, you can either do it unbuttoned or buttoned. I kind of do it both ways. When I have it buttoned though, I do tend to do the French tuck. I know the French tuck seems to be controversial, but I still like it because, well, I am a millennial. Hear me out. Here's another option you could do with the black jeans. You could, instead of white shoes, wear heels and maybe go like with a low v-neck cami or just with a bra underneath and have a more edgy look. Could also do the same with the light blue jeans. You could have like the no bra, maybe go for some bright like neon heels. That could be cute. This outfit, I have some high-waisted blue jeans and my 
shoes again. Yeah, and just a white shirt. You could go with a crew neck, plain t-shirt, or a white turtleneck, or maybe a black turtleneck. That could be fun too. I also have these high heels that I really like. They're like a suede style, again, from Amazon. And then for this though, because my boots are taller, I roll up my jeans like with a skinny roll. I think I rolled them about three times. And yeah, super cute. I really love this outfit. Uh, I kind of want, I have not worn this one before, but I kind of want to wear this now. This outfit keeps the uh, crew neck white tank top. And then I have some flowy, like beigey pink pants. They're from Cider. I really like them. The quality is pretty good. But you could do this with like maybe a khaki pant. That would be super cute. Or like some, uh, what are they called? Help me out here. Slacks. Slacks is the word I was looking for. Some really nice slacks would be really cute for this outfit. This is a dress also from Cider. It's just like a longer midi length fitted dress. I love these shoes, like I've said. So here I've styled it with the shoes. You could also do high heels. And honestly, cardigans are super cute with any style of dress. I personally don't have a ton of dresses in my wardrobe, but it looks great with this one. Sweater number two. My classic sweater. I love this sage. I think it would be super cute uh, with basically <laughs> so many things. First, I have it paired with the same style of floaty pants in white, but white jeans would also be fabulous khakis too same like so, sort of like trousers would be great now i personally don't have a fear of wearing blues and greens with denim i think just wear what you want to wear so i have this sage with my high-waisted light jeans and well a couple of shoe options first being my white ones you could had the jeans rolled up or not rolled up or if you have like the cute shorter jeans that are like in style right now maybe those i personally don't have any of those i don't buy every style of jean every time there's a new trend out there just because there would be way too many jeans in my wardrobe to mix it up and make it maybe a little bit fancier put it with some high heels and you know i love a nice long coat or maybe if you had a blazer or something like that would be super adorable Okay, now we're going comfy and casual because, well, I love comfy and casual. This is something I wear around the house. This is probably my favorite way, way to style this sweater. And it's something I can wear around the house. And then if I just throw on my like jogging shoes that I don't jog in huh, on and then my long coat, I look cute and sporty and casual all at the same time. And I can go out, run errands, and not look completely <laughs> lazy. Style your knits comfortably, people. There's nothing better than a cute sweater worn around the house. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts were. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this exact formatting for future styling videos. I did find it slightly difficult to get the full outfit in frame. Uh, it, I mean, my house is also kind of small, so maybe it'll be easier in summer if I can go outside. But it's like I need to step way far back to get the shoes. Because the you know, shoes are kind of an important part of an outfit because it can completely change whether it's casual or dressy or just the overall look of an outfit. So, yeah, I'm not sure how, how the formatting will work in the future, but let me know if you have any ideas to that or if you liked this video or not. <laughs> I don't know, I enjoyed like looking at outfits and planning things out and kind of seeing them all come together. But of course, if you guys are like, heck no, this video was boring as can be, then well, I won't keep making them. 
But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and all the things you know how to do it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.